A food hub acts as a broker in between the community groups and the supermarkets. I'm a member of the United Reformed Church in, in Shrewsbury here. I'm passionate about work on the, in the environment uh, and I'm also uh, passionate about supporting the, the most needy people in our communities. Supermarket staff are always so helpful and um, give us what they can and what we do, load it into the back of our cars. Take it to their food hub and then they will start dividing it up to go to each of their 35 organisations. And one of them that I'm involved with, the art charity, we have what we've asked for. We also took to the Ark, which is a homeless charity, to the Hospice, to Riversway Church, to Shropshire Mind, to schools. It's going all over town and creating food smiles everywhere. We have what we've asked for every day. We don't get things that we're not going to use. It's quite difficult for community groups to get hold of surplus food. You probably don't have enough volunteers to go and collect regularly and also when you turn up at the supermarket you can't be sure what you're going to get. It's food roulette. Everything that God has made he's made out of love uh, and he, he cares for it and he sustains it and it's for everybody to flourish and benefit from. And if there's an excess of all of this food, all of these resources, and there's plenty, in fact there's too much for people, and we're aware that people have no access to this, then it should be shared out. The surplus food that you can get from supermarkets means that community groups can do so much more because they've got free, good quality food. I think the church is ideally equipped to help with uh, or establish food hubs because they know their communities, they know individuals and, and families who are struggling, who would benefit from provision of good quality food. The church itself can become a location for that food to be delivered to and if that was done on a regular basis um, then people could turn up and simply help themselves to what is otherwise food that's going to be thrown away. When we first started we didn't have funding, we just got going because we thought it was something that was really important to do. It can sound daunting to people, think, well how, I don't know how to go about that. But as we've grown we've been supported by local groups and churches, the Rotary. I, I mean if you were a church that thought well this is an initiative we, we can tap into, we have people who are willing to be involved, we know that there are people in need in our community. But what we've done is we've created a small toolkit to make it easier for other groups to get started and that's on our website. You can get in touch with the Food Hub here in Shrewsbury. They have a template for how to set up a very simple Food Hub. They can become part of their network and there's, there's, there's a team of people who would come and speak to that church and say, here's how you go about setting a Food Hub. Here's how you contact the supermarkets and then you'll be up and running.